Welcome, guys, the Sedwin, and today we're continuing with part number two of my full collection of knives for 2023. Last part, right, we went through this box right here, so make sure you check the full collection 2023 part one. And today, box number two, that's right, that's right, we have a couple more boxes, brothers, and, and we'll get going. In this case, you will notice a theme, a uh, repeated model right away, you know, but hey, let's get through it first. My tank, let's talk about it. My tank, the commander right here. You've seen this on Instagram. I love carrying this knife right here with that beautiful silver steel flame clip. This is the medium size skull. It still feels good in the hand, so I don't mind carrying it with it. And again, like you can see, it's been used, abused. Just a beauty. I did send it. Uh, when was this? Probably four or three years ago for new hardware and new edge and all that in the whole warranty work from Emerson and they did a great, great job with it. So my knife, my tank, this commander I carry every time I go out uh, in terms of, I mean, if I go uh, hiking, camping, hunting, of course I have a fixed plate with me. But this folder is also with me and does a lot of the tasks without a doubt. One of the reasons why I trust Emerson so much is this blade right here. Not my first one. My first one was back in 1998 or 99. I was carrying a CQC7 and man, that guy also was beat to hell down there. But very, very cool. Okay, let's keep going. I, I'll keep talking about knives, right? But... This is my Tandy Commander. Love it. You see this one I carry every now and then. Next, right here, this beautiful CQC15. This was in Memorial Day, if I remember correctly, uh, with that whole American theme. You know, very, very nice. That blue titanium hardware in that thumb disc with the people clip. And you got to love the blue and you know, the red, white, and blue colors right here. Very, very cool. The CQC15, let me tell you, uh, a great, great full size for, for anything. You know, it's a great utilitarian blade. And the, the 15, when you compare it with the Commander, right, it's very similar in size, but it's a little bit thinner in terms of profile. So usually when someone asks me what type of blade or they want to try a model from Emerson, uh, CQC8 or 15 is usually the first one I go with. Even that, even that my favorite is the Commander, but I know that the Commander tend to ride a little bit thick on this dimension for some people, okay? Not for me, I love it, but I know it might be a little bit too thick on that dimension. Now. Let's keep moving. If not, I will never stop showing you the knives. The Memorial Day, if I remember correctly, CQC 15 right here. Next, talking about the 15. Oof, this is a tank right here. The Super CQC 15, okay? This guy is definitely a beast, okay? Let me see how it compares. I do have another... 15 right here so you can see this is a full size and this is the super so you can see let me line it up right there so definitely definitely a tank again the full size is great in my hand no issues with it the super is definitely definitely way bigger like you can see for me okay definitely a lot of room right there great great knife and again, you gotta love that recurve CQC7 combo blade that Ernest did for the CQC15. If you don't know, that was his inspiration, combining the Commander and the CQC7. Let's keep going next. Oh, frame lock. You know this guy, not the 12. This is the Iron Dragon Black Blade Finish. What a beauty. One of the sexiest knife blades on his designs, I will say. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful blade. I love the aggressiveness that 
something in the lines of this blade has, you know? This tell, let me tell you, the Iron Dragon, if you see it on the secondary market, jump for it. People love it and it's very rare you see one on sale. So the Iron Dragon, a classic, is on bearings. So be aware of that. One, one of those designs that also is on a frame lock. So not that common. And right on its side, the satin finish Iron Dragon. If you didn't saw the lines of that beautiful blade, now you can see it. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, just a classic and people do love this design. Bearings, because it has, it's a frame lock, it's a little bit thinner in the hand compared to your G10. That is what I'm talking about. Let me show you. Let me grab this guy right here. So a little bit thinner in, compar in comparison, right? So that's one thing to notice. Uh, but man, it rides great. That handle is very similar to the commander handle okay so ergonomics through the roof and one of the reasons i love emerson's man is not only the simplicity but ergonomics the steel that they use is great for the type of work i do just excellent you know just an excellent excellent model next the first time that we saw the cqc8 in the production world was with this collaboration, Surefire and Emerson. And they released the CQC-8, and it came in a package with a light as well, with a flashlight, of course, Surefire. You know, you get a flashlight, you get the knife, all in a package, and that was their collab, and that was the first time we saw this beautiful, beautiful fighter design in the production world. No way from this guy, the banana knives, right? This is the original style with no wave and just a beauty you know this is another one that is a little bit big okay for some people this might be a little bit too big it's a four inch blade but if you think it's too big check out the horseman or the mini version of this guy because even that it has a mini stamp in the name it's like a 3.4 i don't know 3.5 3.6 inch blade okay it's a great EDC, the Mini Horseman, I, the Mini CQC8, I have it, I have one somewhere, but it's in another box, I'll, I'll show you in another video. Now, I haven't made a video on this, and you will notice now from, from here on, it's all the same style of model, but we'll look at them. This one then, Green T Commander 2000 with that old school, nice G10, Gotta love that nice old school G10 right there. And I don't know if you know this, but this is a pretty collectible blade, the Green T Commander. Let me know if you know the story of it. I'll make a video, I'll make a video in the future about this specific blade finish, really famous uh, at that time. And again, known as the Green T Commander, Gotta love that blade. I will say I don't carry it. It's more of a collection piece for me. And talking about 2000, you know, Ernest and Emerson Knife, they did a lot of different options for this excellent design, the Commander. And one of the options was, that's right, Waveless. Yes, a Waveless Commander. They provided that and man, it looks really nice. I can carry this no problem again in 2000 they did a waveless thumb uh thumbless uh sorry without thumb disc uh and of course the wave one titanium blades you know a lot of different options that they were trying at that time and this is one of those known as the waveless commander from 2000 black finish really really cool now Let's keep moving this one right here. Oh yes, this is another Memorial Day or July 4th style of finish on this commander uh, with that beautiful, beautiful American flag like you can see. Emerson knife right there, commander. I don't use this one. This is more of a showpiece. Love that finish on the blade. And this is the mini. Commander, that's right, and I think it's the only mini commander in my collection, but both are part of the same uh, celebration, you know, Memorial Day style or um, 
uh, finish. And again, very, very cool. The commander and the mini commander with that American flag, really, really nice. And again, the mini commander, I don't own another one. I think for my hands, it's a little bit too small. It feels good, you know, it feels good, but I think it's a little bit small. So I just go with the full size. The mini commander, again, this is how it compares. You have, you're wondering about a mini. Okay, and be aware, there's also a micro commander that I don't have. I know, I know, how is this possible, Edwin? And of course, you have the super commander and the uber commander and the Jupiter commander. They're just huge ones out there in the community. Really, really cool. We have a brother in the community that he has all those size commanders and he usually posts a picture from the micro to the Jupiter and it's always fun to see. Let's get going to, to 2000, this 2001 commander with serrations and this is the 2001. Just old school commanders that they show up at a good price and I could not say no back in the day. Great, great carries. I definitely carry this one, my 2001, more than the 2000 for no, no reason, just because this one is, you know, the one I pick. But other than that, they're just very similar, same style. Uh, good, good, good models right there. Next, this was a collaboration rare, man. This one you don't see a lot, limited release that they did uh, with the guy that he used to run or he run Macpool. Oh man, I forgot his name, sorry. But a collaboration and the thing with this commander is that he had a flat head right there so you can adjust your AR sights or rifle sights and stuff like that. With that green, green G10, beautiful, beautiful finish. Uh, black liners and then that tone of red standoff they look sick again this one i carry sometimes but not that often you can see i actually use that flat head you know you can see the color this color right there uh on there so just you know a nice version of it and it's a limited style of release next two of the tactical elements one in black finish and the other one right here the satin finish okay tactical element like i mentioned before when they do a release they do their green micarta so that's one of their signatures with that beautiful green micarta and if you know i love my green micarta one of my favorite things in terms of handles is micarta for sure next is g10 like you can see uh but again these are their commander they did a satin version and the black version and you know i was able to grab both of them and i did own several others of their tactical element knives i think i have a tanto still but again these are really collectible as well you so you know people will be always looking for them this one almost almost done with this box right here just a user commander that i got from a brother in a community in the community on instagram at a great great price okay so this is another user that i love to carry great great piece right here uh with that you know green g10 gotta love it gotta love it classic classic commander nothing special on this one and last but not least the thumb less no thumb disc commander from 2000 like i mentioned they did what? That wave list. They did all the different finishes on the blades. And they also did this one without a thumb disc. So definitely one of those rare pieces, like more of a collection piece. This is brand new. I got this from Area 51. So it's brand new and definitely one for the collection. Not something I carry, guys. But again, the thumbless commander let me show you here the waveless very very cool all from 2000 right that green tea finish right so man very very cool to see all the different things that they were rocking at that time 
with this excellent, excellent model. And guys, let me know if you know the story about the green tea commander. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'll, I'll make a video. No worries about it. I'll make sure I do a video on that. And guys, other than that, this is part two of my Emerson, my production Emerson folders. Don't worry. Yes, I do own some 98 commanders. These are more of the, you know, the ones I can leave them in the box. I need to take out my Pelican case for those 98s. I own a couple, you know, and, and, and the other customs and all that. So, guys, other than that, stay tuned for part three of my Emerson production folders out there. And we'll go through all the different knives I own. Striders, spider cuts, everything, you know, traditional knives and all that. Well, I'm hoping you have a great day out there. Bye.